Hey everyone, welcome back to Low Luxury, the channel where I show you what authentic luxury clothing and streetwear looks like. And today I've got one I'm really excited about because I ordered an authentic, legit Bape shirt from their Japanese web store, and I'm going to show you exactly what to look out for so you know whether it's real or a fake. Let's get into it. So first things first, let's take a look at that packaging. It comes in, it looks like two layers of plastic wrap. And this first one, there's not much to it, but on the back you do have some stickers that are of note right here. You've got a barcode, just says T-shirt, KVF1. Not too much to say about that. But right here you do have some good information. You've got Bathing Ape up top with an asterisk first and the registered mark at the end. You have an item number, a color, which here says yellow, but really it's more of a beige camo, but We'll let that slide. A size, which is medium, and a price, which is in yen because this came from the Japanese web store. And finally, you do have a barcode down there at the bottom. And it actually turns out that that sticker right there was on the inner plastic packaging. The first one only had that barcode t-shirt sticker. So on this main bag, it's a thicker Ziploc bag. You can see that at the top there. You've got big bold a bathing ape with the asterisk first and the registered mark at the end. Big babe head, registered mark right there as well. And then in quotations, in all caps, you've got ape shall never kill ape. And then at the bottom, in a sort of cartoonish font, you've got the this bag is not a toy, some happy and too sad faces, and uh, to avoid any danger of suffocating, so on and so forth. And then again, down at the bottom, made by a bathing ape. There is no text or anything on the back, just completely plain. Now, when we take this t-shirt out, there is a lot to look at here. So first off, inside of the shirt, there was some uh, wax paper with the Bape Head camo pattern all over it. It's a cool little addition right there. And then attached to the shirt, of course, we've got a tag that came with it. It has a brown string attached to it, and it's kind of a corrugated pattern around the edge. And this has to be untied in order to get to it. So let's do that real quick. So when you open it up, it is completely empty, except on the inside, we get our bait head and it says, we early. Looking at the shirt itself, first things first, let's look at the brand tag. So of course we've got a bathing ape and that look at that A, B and A right there. Look at the little, uh, extra pieces coming off the top right of each of those capital letters. That's the first thing that stands out to me. You've got the babe head right there. And that register mark is kind of italicized right there. So check that out. You've got World Gone Mad. And you've got years. We've got 1993 to 2093. Interesting. And this right here is stitched cleanly with a white stitch on both sides of the label. And when you look to the back of it, there's really nothing there. It's kind of folded over right there. And you can just kind of, from the light, see through the print on the other side, but it's not stitched or anything, it's just printed. Looking at the size, that is its own tag coming out that's stitched on right there. It's a long tag with a capital M, capital black M, on the lower third of the tag. So there's some blank space in the top two thirds, the lower third, you've got that capital M. And on the back, you've got a nice little uh, bait head right there. Maybe on the if you cut it in half, it's just under that bottom half right there. On the sleeve, you also have an ape head tag right there. It is a clean single white stitch along there, and it's kind of a pinpoint pattern for the ape itself. Registered mark down in the bottom right. On the back side of that, it is just the back of the head, fully brown. Again, one clean white stitch across there. And that is not sewn on anywhere else, so you can kind of open it up like that. Now let's look at the fabric tags. Always my favorite part of this. Probably the biggest giveaway in any legit check. So, you've got the same colored stitching as the rest of the shirt itself. Clean, tight circle stitches of that same beige that's used in the shirt itself. Up top, you have a model number. You've got the uh, sort of washing symbols there, and then you've got the fabrication, which is 100% cotton. 
Down at the bottom, you've got your asterisk, except because of the way it's printed, it's kind of a bold print, so it looks more like a dot, honestly, with just a couple pieces coming out. A bathing ape with the registered mark after it. Look at that spacing there. If you're trying to compare this to something you have, look at that space between the asterisk and the A, between A, bathing ape, the capitalization, all that is important to look out for. Under that, you've got Nowhere Co. LTD. Again, look at the dot after the co, and then the comma. That's going to be important, and make sure there's a period after LTD. And then you've got, I'm guessing that's a phone number, www.bape.com. This one is made in China. Uh, so, if you see one that says made in China, don't be too nervous, because this one is a legit bought from Bape itself. No big deal. And also look at the spacing of the www.bape.com. There's kind of a space uh, on either side of the dots there. So check for that as well. And this is a sort of uh, circular tag, nothing on the inside, but it does fold over. And on the back, you've got, I'm assuming those are the same text as the other side, but these are in Japanese. But again, look to that bape.com, look to that phone number. On the next tag, you have a lot of them. I think that is Chinese right there. That is another circle tag. And on the other end of that, you've got the English, which is the washing instructions. Do not wet this product. Color may fade. At the time of wash, flip it inside out and place it in mesh net laundry bag, so on and so forth. If you want to pause this and check that against your own, please feel free to do so. Right here, it looks like the same branding, uh, fabrication, etc. But that would be, I think, Chinese, as well as washing instructions there. That's once again a circle tag, and on the back of that is that whole explanation in, I'm assuming, Chinese. And at the very end of all that, you get a nice sort of that silky, shiny tag right there of the bape head, and that one is gold, if you can see it there. And this is another circle tag right there. And in the back of that, in gold, you've got copyright, Nowhere Co. LTD, all rights reserved. Lastly, let's talk about the shirt itself, of course. You can see that big bait print right there. It's nice and bold, really clean. Um, there's a little bit of issues right around the edge right there, but nothing too serious. Overall, really good print. The fabric itself is on the thicker side, it's on the stiffer side, and I would be remiss if I didn't talk a little bit about the fit. Bape is a Japanese brand, so their fit is going to be Japanese sizing. And what that means is that it is tighter than US sizing. So I bought a Bape medium, Japanese medium, which fits more like a US small. So if you get a shirt that you're worried about, if you bought a medium, and it's really big, maybe even oversized, that is definitely something to be concerned about. 